Hey, this is Music by Lucas in the US. And Milson here in the Netherlands. And today, we're gonna show you how we made our new track, Lucky, out now on Hexagon's Generation Hex. If you haven't heard it yet, here's a preview. Do you feel lucky? Do you If you've been a subscriber of this channel for a while, you know how long I've wanted a track on Hexagon. Comment below if you remember any of this. My journey with Hexagon started four years ago. It was four years ago that I did the video, How Don Diablo is so amazing. And Don saw it and I freaked out. And then I got to see Don play live and it was everything. Then I got the chance to meet Don in person. Anything I should do? Just be cool, don't be weird. That team hexagon jacket was sick. Oh man. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoa, Lucas is like freaking out already, he's yeah. sweating. Then I got supported on Hexagon Radio. We're gonna find out if I am on Hexagon Radio or not. Hexagon. We're there, we made it to Hexagon Radio. I've been wanting to be on Hexagon Radio since 153 weeks later. Here we are. So to start off this tutorial, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I wanna to talk to you guys about how I start a track. So for example, how I started the track Lucky. My process is I like to find a vocal first. I usually find it from Splice. Sometimes I will record it myself and just pitch bend it. Like I have a new track actually coming up soon where I rap, <laughs> so you'll be able to hear that. And we just pitch bend it. But in this case, I found the vocal on Splice. And I wanna show you guys how I create the mood for a track and decide that I really wanna keep working on it. So when I go on to Splice, I do like to search for vocal hooks and I like to sort the results by recent instead of by popular because if you sort them by popular, of course you're gonna find vocals that have been used a million times. So it's better to sort by recent so you can get the newest vocals that maybe haven't been used so much. So in this case, I did find the vocal for Lucky and it sounds like this. Lucky, gone after something. You wanna love me, don't you? So again, I had no melody or anything at this point, but what I like to do first is I like to do a little bit of pitch bending to see if it's gonna sound cooler or a little bit more unique, because I don't want it to be like the exact same pitch or the exact same sound as the original splice vocal. So to pitch bend the vocal, I use this plugin called Little Alter Boy, which is really cool, uh, and it actually can let you kind of pitch bend the vocal, but still keep it in the same key as the original vocal, just by messing with the format or maybe it's, I think it's poor meant. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Basically, I just pulled that down uh, negative five here and it sounds like this. The next thing is I throw on this plugin CLA Vocals, which I really love uh, for vocals. It has a lot of really cool presets on it. So I use this preset called Start Me Up, uh, but I turn off the reverb because the reverb I'm actually gonna add after using Valhalla Room, but let's just hear it step by step. So now it sounds like this. Already so much better if you listen to it again without the CLA vocals. So this is what I do. I find a vocal that I like and I pitch bend it to see if it sounds really cool. And once I think it sounds cool, then I will start to try to write a melody around the vocal sample. Now for coming up with melody ideas, one of my favorite things to do actually is to go to Nexus just to start um, and to mess around with some of the sequence elements. One of the cool things that you can do uh, with these sequence uh, presets, which I don't know if everybody knows this, but you can go to the layers section and you can solo out layers that you like. So you don't have to have the whole thing. You don't have to have, you can just have, so that's really cool, soloing that out. So anyways, I start messing around with a chord structure because that's what I'm really trying to do. I'm really trying to build a vibe to see again if it's something that I want to keep working on, something that I'm excited about. So I started messing around with notes and came up with this. So now that I have the MIDI notes recorded here and I got my pitch bended vocal, I can already tell that I like this vibe. Now you may feel like this is such a short vocal, how can I turn this into like a vocal for an entire song? Well, what you wanna do is kind of chop it up, loop it, uh, pitch bend it, do different things to kind of switch it up so that you can actually make it longer, extend it. Um, like you can do little things like for the buildup, I switched it up so it would be something like this. <laughs> Uh, 
So you just put the vocal in different patterns. You're switching it up so that it becomes more unique and a little bit less repetitive in the same loop. You can also chop up the vocal. Like I liked this part that said, don't ya? And so I kind of like looped it again, but I wanted it to be more in the background. So at first it sounded like this. But then all I did was I go in here and I pitch bend it a little bit more down to negative five. I'll throw a little filter in here to cut off some of the higher frequencies. There you go. It's already like a little bit of an ear candy part, you know? So now you have the vibe for the break. You have the idea, you know, hmm, this is interesting. It's something that I kind of want to work on. So now you got to create that top melody, something kind of uh, simple that can get stuck in your head. And this is what I came up with. I hope this helps you see how you can create a vibe for a track, an idea, just by pitch bending a vocal, you know, finding a sample, chopping it up, rearranging it, throwing on some effects, making a simple like emotional chord progression around it. And after this, it was all about doing the build up, creating the drop idea and adding more ear candy and effects to it before I got the stems ready to send over to Melson because he's actually working on FL Studio. So let's go see what he's up to. Okay guys, um, let's take a look now at uh, the lead. So here you got all these green channels, um, all these green uh, tracks, those are all um, attached to the lead. Um, the lead itself has uh, seven layers, as you can see here. Let's listen what they sound like. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, and then here you see some, some automation on the reverb to make it sound um yeah a bit more bumpy and it gives this all, almost like a reverse reverb idea um uh, at the end of this section so let's let's take a look how that sounds like <laughs> Um, yeah, that's basically our lead. Uh, not much uh, else going on here. Some delay and some filtering, of course, and that's it basically. Um, so yeah, if we go and take a look here at the bass, um, we used uh, just a really simple bass. It's a preset I made years ago, um, and and it's really just a simple sub bass. Um, but what uh, we did is here. Uh, in the MIDI we used uh, this slide note and it's a really simple technique I mean you probably know it but um, it just works so well so if we listen to this uh, kick and the sub it goes down at the end of the last note so it gives a yeah, it gives a cool effect and uh, we also apply this to the 808 bass here and the uh, 808 is coming from this uh, new plugin by image line um, I guess it's free uh, with FL Studio now so yeah really cool and that's it for the video today thank you Melson for coming thank you for having me Lucas and thank you for watching um, and don't forget to check out our new track lucky out now on generation hex and don't forget to subscribe to like make sure to follow Melson and let me know in the comments if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future bye